Hello. This is my garden. 2010. Well, June 2010. And this is for you, Kathy, and anybody else in Texas. You know, Auntie Carrie, Granny, Aki. Okay, we have bush beans over here. And you see one there. I'm getting pretty big. So, another one there. So forth, so forth. And they just go on. I have one growing in the stump, as you can see. Actually, two. And one down there. And then over on the side of the aisle, I have red sweet corn. It said new on the package, so we'll take a new variety. And not much, just a few. It was one package. Oh, and then back over here. I got up here some pumpkins, which needed to be split off. Kind of got hectic and just dumped them in. <laughs> Didn't have much room for them anywhere else at the time, so. Let me walk over here, and we have my pumpkins, which again look crowded, but on this one I'm going to be spreading them across the yard, this way and that way, so they won't be hopefully so crowded. And then we have just the pots. I planted all my old seeds, anything I didn't have room for. I'm not expecting them to grow, but they do, lovely. Last year I only punched a few peppers and some pots, so. And over here we got, um, I, we bought some squashes for Halloween that were decorative. Well, not decorative, um, not pumpkins, but uh, other kinds of hard squash. And we split them open and save the seeds, so hopefully those will grow. We have some peppers in there. And then again, over here we have more pumpkins, but they haven't popped up yet, because they're more recent. So we go over here, and over here is the same thing, more pumpkins. And then we just go over here, take a little walk. And we have more things and pots. <laughs> squashes, which I'm not sure exactly what kind of squash, because my squashes got mixed up in the house, so, when I started them. And over here we have my uh, potatoes which is all different varieties, whatever I had starting in the house <laughs> that we hadn't eaten, so those are all grow pretty well. That one's over a foot high, so um, when you go over here, we've got a raised bed and more squashes and there's uh, some potted plants over here. Uh, that's the peppers, this one in the middle, and the others are squashes and in the raised bed, I've got a carrot or two with some old seed I was using. So, and okra, and another carrot I think over there, and there's a pepper there, and some tomatoes I think in there. And then we have another raised bed, which is my zucchini, which kind of got fortunately planted a little early maybe. <laughs> and got hurt by the frost and hasn't grown so well since. So, and that's not zucchini. This is uh, it's more just squashes I planted. So, and I got some tomatoes, like a few. If you can see them right, like there and there. And then we come over here. Got another raised bed, which you know we got two by four ones. And we got peas which are growing pretty well. Uh, you got, you know, you see one pea here. And so we got some peas. And more squash. And we go over here. We got uh, another pepper in the center. And more squash. And we got a lot of chives right through here. And the, you know, chive I had from last year. These ones are uh, only this year's. And they have more radishes. Well, not more. This is the radishes. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're getting pretty big. You see there. Almost time to harvest radishes. So, and then we have two more beds. Let's see, we have devia plants and tomato plants, which we bought too early. And luckily they came back after the frost. And then some mystery uh, squashes, which came out my compost. We got three of those. There, there, and there. So, <coughs> and we have tomatoes in here, as you can see here. And a whole bunch of them are all around. And then we
we have bush beans, which are growing lovely, and a mystery plant, which I think is a potato, right in there. And then, let's see what else. Oh, we got pepper, right, that one. Uh, squash. And some more squashes here. And I think that's it. This is my uh, garden. I'll just do a pay swipe. We got thing back there and here and all around. Got growing things everywhere. This is my garden. So everybody in Texas, you now know what you've got growing. I hope you enjoy my little video, and I'll keep you updated.